Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right. Today, well, we're talking about why you, why any of us hate our jobs. Now, I don't hate my job. <laughs> I love my job. And um, again, that's most likely why you guys watch me and others that love their jobs, trying to figure out what that secret is. Um, you know, what we're doing that you're not doing so that you can stop hating your job. And that's the thing, you know? You know, when it, when it all comes down to it, you know, when, when, we, you know, when it all boils down to at the end of the day as to why you out there hate your job, why you hate Mondays, why you dread Sunday nights, it's, it's simply because uh, you're not doing what you love. You're just not doing what you love. And that's it, you know? That's basically what it boils down to at the end of the day. You're not, you're just not doing what you love. And so because of that, you know, that's why you're, you're sitting there um, trying to answer that question. And so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, what you need to do out there, if you hate your job, if you hate your career, if you hate what you're doing right now or going to be doing or whatever, then the only real solution here is to quit your job. Quit what you're doing that you hate so much and start doing what you want to do. Now, the thing is that it's a lot easier said than done, of course, you know, because even for me, back when I finally made that choice and decision, it was, uh, it was, it wasn't, I wasn't, I'm not going to say it was very easy because, you know, it, it was a lot of, um, um, difficulty in the sense that, like, um, life had to help me a little bit along. So, what do I mean by that? Well, as long as I had the power, and I was always in control of, um, you know, my job situation, meaning that, you know, fuck, I hate this job. I hate this, uh, this kitchen. I hate this, uh, these individuals here. I'm going to just fucking get me another job. And so that's the thing. You know what I mean? Every time that would just leave from one job to the other, you know, eventually, you know, things would just repeat. They would just continue the cycle. I would be very happy at first at that would job. And then, you know, before long, I was fucking hating, hating it again. And um, then I started questioning my career. Is it that I hate my career? Is that I hate my whatever? And the thing is that it wasn't necessarily that I hated my career. I was actually very, very happy, you know, being a chef. But it wasn't, it wasn't just that though, you know what I mean? The thing is that, you know, what I realized, what I hated was just working for other people, having a boss, having somebody fucking tell me that, um, whatever that you know what anything i did was wrong or you know um it wasn't up to their liking or any of this shit and it was just so funny because you know once i eventually you know got fired for the last time because by the way I, even though i've had a billion jobs as a chef i was only fired maybe a handful of times you know i quit like seven billion times you know <laughs> you know just to find a better job better opportunity more money i was like a mercenary you know uh, gun for hire type of shit and in Miami and certain cities out there, you could do that. Now, but again, you know, once I realized after like so many jobs and then eventually leaving Miami and moving to Seattle and moving up there and living and, you know, just, you know, doing the whole chef thing again. And the same thing kept repeating, even though everything was completely opposite and backwards than Miami. Because again, Seattle and Miami could not be any more different of two, of two U.S. cities, literally on two ends of the, of the spectrum. And, um, you know, when, when the same things kept happening up there, just in a little bit of a different way, but pretty much the same thing, I realized that, oh, shit, wait a minute. I love cooking. I love everything that I do, you know what I mean? But I just hate these people. I hate this environment. I hate, you know what I mean, a lot of this shit. Because what would happen was that, like, you know, pretty much after I got fired, you know, for the last time, you know, um, in Seattle from the, the last place I was working at, from that moment on, I decided to make a change because, I mean, I had already been making a change, which was again leaving Miami and moving all the way to the other end of the state of the other, the other end of the country, which was Seattle, Washington. But you know, since I was already there for a little while, you know, I was maybe there like a year, um, and and again the same thing happens again. You know, same thing kept happening again. I was having multiple jobs, and then in the last job I got fired, and again, and nothing to do with my cooking ability. It was just uh, my attitude. You know, I did not fit. Um, the status quo or whatever it was it was some shit like that because again i'm as you guys already know i'm a very individual individual and with that being said 
you know, I mean, again, you know, I used to run armies of men. So, you know, it's really, it, it gets, it gets, and I'm sure, look, I'm sure a lot of you guys that, that, um, that, that can resonate with this. But, you know, one thing is that, like, you know, you're a boss, you know, you fucking built that building. You, um, you know, I ran kitchens, you know, with tons of people. I did all this crazy shit. And, you know, it, and then all of a sudden you would have some fucking pea brain retard you know dumbass you know just come out of nowhere and be like you know that building is great but you know could you, instead of that color maybe could you use a xyz color instead of that or maybe you know make it one millimeter to the left and not to the right and blah blah you know just like the stupidest shit and then at first you you had no idea why these people would do these things but after a while after being in the on the in the grind for a while and i'm sure a lot of you guys are realizing this you know you realize that you know um your confidence starts lacking because you know you you're, you're like man wait a minute I, I look at all the shit that i've done and then i got this dumbass over here telling me that i'm doing it wrong and then when you follow what they're doing then you it's really wrong and and when then you start finding out again after many 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 times over and over again that you were never wrong that you were right and yet you know you you can never just um you can never just go on that you know what i mean like and so the only way that you could ever just you know eliminate that and just you know be on your own is by literally you know being on your own and uh whatever that means you know whatever that meant so you know when, when i was my happiest as a chef as a cook you know doing the things that i was doing was when i had my own business when i was working for myself now when i had my own catering business back in miami when i was doing my own thing i worked even harder you know if you can even imagine you know like 100 hours a week you know just to keep that thing afloat but man, was I happy. I was so happy because I didn't have anyone telling me, you know, what to do. And it wasn't just telling me what to do, but nitpicking as stupid as shit, um, you know, um, controlling every aspect of everything that I did and, and so on and so forth. I mean, you know, I could go on and on. But look, that's not the point. You know, today's episode is not to talk about story time, Jose story time. It's really about you. And why do you hate your job, okay? So, for the longest time, I used to fucking hate having to, um, you know, the, the, the my, how about this? So, my schedule was a little different than yours, you know, um, out there being a chef. So, the equivalent of my Sunday night, I used to hate, just like a lot of you guys out there, just like my girlfriend right now, hates Sunday night, hates Monday morning. I don't hate Sunday, now, you know, and, and it's, by the way, why was that? You know, it's because you were dreading going back to that environment. It wasn't necessarily the work, it was just the environment and everything that had to do with it. And so, you know, there's a lot of people out there that they don't have any problem with that. You know, there's a lot of people that are more than happy to, you know, wake up every morning and be a little worker bee and follow orders and, and just go home and decompress and that's it. There's tons of people like that. I mean, I wish I could be that simple for me, but it's not. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys, it's not like that as well. In fact, I think it's like 85, 90% of the population hates their job, hates what they do. And, um, you know, that's probably why a lot of these videos are so popular because you guys are all trying to figure out, you know, how to get out of that. And the thing is, it's, it's really not that, that difficult. It really isn't. All you got to do is find out what you love and do that. Now, the thing is that why most people don't do that is because if they do that, then all of a sudden they have to start cutting back. You know, meaning that they can't buy their Starbucks every morning. Instead of driving a BMW, they got to drive a Hyundai. You know, instead of fucking, uh, instead of going out to eat every other night, you got to stay home and eat your, you know, um, scrambled eggs and fucking uh, baked beans or whatever, you know, whatever it is you're eating. And that's the thing, though, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, all right, I got to cross the street, sorry. But but it's like, um, these are the, these are really, really the hurdles to stop us from uh from doing a lot of these things and it's uh it's kind of sad and it's kind of sucky but but that's the reality the reality though you know the reason that you hate your job you know the same reason i hated my job and the same reason again everyone really hates your job is because you cannot do what you want to do and for some people you know again i i would rather be dead you know what i mean i would rather be dead than be someone's fucking slave ever again and that's the thing, you know what I mean? Most people, you know, they're more than happy with just being a, a slave. You know, they're more than happy to just being a, a worker. And that's okay, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that at all. At all. 
and again i'm a slave too i'm a slave to what i do i'm a slave to my to my art i'm a slave to to many things but i'm the one that's in control that's and that's a major you know major major difference there you know every morning i wake up and i'm grateful as fuck that i put in all the hard work to get to where i'm at now and i know it wasn't easy and i know it took a long time but i did it and now i'm here and every single morning i get to wake up and i get to reap the rewards of this life that i have because i put in the hard work to make sure that i'm doing it and it's not just that i'm putting in the hard work right now i'm putting in the hard work every single day constantly i mean literally as as you're watching this right now as you're watching this right now i'm on vacation yeah you heard me right i've been on vacation for a few days already and um i'll be back tomorrow you know online but for you know for i, I took off a few days i took off like probably like a, a little over a week pretty loud Shit, that was loud anyways but yeah so like i was saying so like i was saying you know what i mean like uh right now as you're watching this i'm literally um you know i had just gotten back from my vacation and i'm still kind of like decompressing from the vacation and all that shit and again i have control over that i remember when uh when when i used to work all the time there was no such thing as like a vacation and even when there was a vacation it was just to like stay home and sleep if I actually did go on vacation, I would be even more tired. It would be even more um, just exhausted. And uh, especially in the kind of work that I would do, it's like, you know, all I ever wanted to do, if I ever if I ever even got a vacation, was just sleep. And that's the thing too, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, um, it's not an easy life. It really isn't. I'm not saying that what I do is easy either. Hold on, one over here, one over here. I'm not saying what I do is easy either, but you know, I have full control of what I'm doing and most people have no control and they are how about this you guys you guys think that you guys have absolutely no control because again that's why I make all these videos every Monday now you know talking about no time again that's a myth you know what I mean that's a, that's a myth that you tell yourself it's like oh I don't have the opportunity again that's a myth you tell yourself you know um you know you know again look, how about like a Cuba you know like what I was talking about um you know there's people in Cuba that are vloggers and they're able to upload and film and do all this shit how more how much more difficult it is for them than than the average person but they still do it so what's your excuse and so shit like that and i can just go on and on every time that i hear anything from anyone it's an excuse i wish people would just be more honest and say listen the reason i hate my job is because i don't want to change and that's it you know what i mean but the reality is is like I, I get it i get it you know because i was there you know it wasn't until um i got kicked you know out i literally got kicked out of uh, my career and um instead of me pouting i just said you know what fuck it i'm gonna i'm gonna do something else i'm gonna change and so that's what i did you know when uh, i got fired the last time um ever you know um from my last kitchen job in uh in um in seattle at that moment in time i went into business for myself and I, I said, you know what? I'm not going to do the kitchen thing anymore. I'm going to do something completely different. These are my skills. All right. I laid them out. I started a business with that. And bam, the rest is history. I was happy as fuck. And then, you know, I started, you know, struggling in the sense of like, for the next uh, few years, I was struggling, not because of money. In fact, that was the opposite. I was actually making more money than I ever made in my whole entire life. But what I was struggling with was the fact that, yeah, I found something that makes me a lot of money for, for a lot, for little effort, for very little effort, but I, I hated it. I really didn't like it. So what I did, hold on music, one second. So, um, yeah, so I, 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 okay, sorry, back, we're back, sorry about the music. So, what happened was, is that, like, I had a really nice job, um, where I had to put little effort and make a lot of money, and all of a sudden, the one thing that I never had, which was, which was time, is something that I had all the time, all of a sudden. So, what did I, so, the, my mental struggle 
was trying to figure out what my next move was because even though I was doing really good, I was doing really good with my career, my new career, my new job, my new everything. A lot of fucking noise this morning, huh? Even though I was doing great with all that, I knew that that's not something I wanted to do the rest of my life. So I was just trying a bunch of different things because I myself never gave myself any time ever to figure out me. The reason I went into the kitchens when I was like 18 years old was because I didn't want to put on a fucking tie. I didn't want to, you know, work in an office. I didn't want to have that monkey job. I didn't want to be a monkey. So that's why I went into the chef world because I was already working in that a kitchen environment. I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. And that's what I did. It was really just basically because it was the most free option that I could find, you know, like the most liberating option that I could find. Um, only to find out, you know, many decades later that it wasn't, that it wasn't, it was, uh, it wasn't that free. It was still freer, freer than working in an office, you know, workaholic style, but it wasn't that, it wasn't that free. And, um, so once I finally did get freedom, you know, meaning I was making good money and, um, and I, and I had a lot of time afforded to me in which I could, uh, in which I could, um, try to figure out who I am and what I am and what I wanted to do once that came into play then all of a sudden you know things started changing so then my, my struggle was you know as I was uh with my new career my real struggle came because I was trying to figure out what the fuck I was I wanted to do you know because again there's a lot of people out there that you know um you guys already know what you want to do you guys hate your job hate your life hate your everything but you're like, damn, I wish I could be doing this. And it's like, you know, I never had that. I, it took me, you know how many fucking things I had to try out for how many years until I eventually figured out, oh, I want to make videos. Actually, I was always pointing the camera this way. And then eventually I was like, oh, wait a minute. I like doing this too, you know? And, and then it took me a while. It took me a long ass time. So for those of you guys out there that fall into that category, again, you know, don't ever give up and just keep trying a bunch of things until you find what you love. Now, if you're out there and you're lucky enough to already you know, do what you love. Man, I, I hate, I hate when it just gets so loud and you can, you know, you can, I can hear my echo all around the, the block. But you know, if you already figured out what you love, if you already know what to do and what you want to do, then just fucking do it. I mean, for reals, quit your fucking job, cut some of those fucking bills, stop being a little baby and just do it. It's a lot harder if you don't know what you love or what you want to do. You know, seriously. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you love Smurfs, then you know you can literally um, start a you can literally start a YouTube channel talking about Smurf bullshit, Smurf stuff, and before you know it, you're the leading you're the leading uh, um, the leading voice in Smurf stuff, and, and 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 you know the list can go on and on with all the things that you could be doing. So it's not just about the Smurf stuff. It could be anything and everything in between. Because look at me, for example. You know, I just started, you know, I'm um, talking. If you watch my first, first, first videos ever, like a gazillion years ago, you know, it was just me, you know, doing a little talking. Then I started doing some vlogging, like Casey Neistat, which he, Casey Neistat already like kind of fell off a, off a cliff in the YouTube world. But, you know, I was doing that. I was, uh, you know, trying to do that and uh, trying to find my voice, trying to find out who I was and what I wanted to do and all that crazy stuff. Bueno dia. And, um, bueno dia, bueno dia. All right. <laughs> and so, you know, that's the thing. And so, like, now I, I've, I've come full circle and, like, not only am I doing what I love, but I get to do it every single day and um, make no excuses about it or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's like the coolest thing ever. It really is. But again, the only way that I got, the, the way that I got here was because I decided that I was gonna quit my past life. I was gonna quit everything that failed me up until that point. I was just gonna quit and do and start anew and do what I wanted to do. do you know, started doing what I deserved, you know, what I thought was best for me and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, eventually after many years of, uh, you know, trials and tribulations, look where I'm at now. And again, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying not to focus too much on my story because that's like another video for another day. In fact, it's like a whole series. In fact, they should write a book, <laughs> but that's not the point. You know, the point is, is that like, you know, the only way that I was able to get to where I am now, which is in retrospect, the place that I always wanted to be was because I just gave up on the shit that never 
ever, ever did me any good and uh, just started something brand new. And that brand new thing was very, very scary. Very scary, very, very scary. But it wasn't until, you know, I finally moved to LA and um, out there, I found a lot of um, support for what I was doing. And then, you know, that just gave me that extra little kick in the butt that I needed to just, well, I, I am where I am now. And that's the thing, guys, you know, it's not like I'm saying I did every single fucking thing on my own. I pretty much did, but of course there was help. Of course there was, uh, you know, um, you know, people out there that helped me as well, but like push me or whatever, just like I'm trying to do with you guys. But at the end of the day, all the work really did come from me. And it was all here more than anything else. This is the hardest work that anyone will ever do, the work you gotta do up here. And yet that's the work that nobody ever wants to do because that's the work you never get paid for. You know, but that's the thing. People are always looking at it the completely wrong way. And that that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like for 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 you to really be living that dream life that you're dreaming about, well, you gotta start making some real moves. And the thing is that, you know, you can watch these videos all day, every day, but for the reality of the Again, the reality is that, you know, you can watch these videos all day, every day, and watch all kinds of videos on motivation all day, every day, but unless you get off your ass and actually start doing what you know you gotta do, you're never gonna get there. You're never gonna get anything accomplished. You're never gonna get anything done. It's all up, up, up to you. And if the first step is quitting your job and working off and living off of your savings until you figure it out and cutting a lot of your bills, then that's what you gotta do. Um, I'm gonna stop this here and then I'm gonna film the ending once I'm done with my meeting, all right guys? Because this thing's dying of uh, heat and I'm already here. But we're gonna finish this in a second. But hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Sorry, I forgot where I left off because um, I was at the meeting for a little longer and then I stopped by a, a family member's house because, um, well, actually, by the time you're watching this, I should be um, back from my trip to Cuba. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think I can say it now. So that's what this is right here. Um, I'm actually, I'm, remember, I'm filming this way before. So um, I'm taking some medical supplies, you know, to a family member. So I'm just uh, walking back home now with all that stuff. But anyways, I guess all I wanted to say was, um, you know, again, guys, you guys have all the power. If you guys want to know more about all these things that I have to say, all you got to do, all you simply got to do is just uh, watch my other videos. You know, watch my, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link to uh, my Monday motivation um, playlist. And uh, you can just watch those, you know, all Monday until you finally, hopefully, hopefully something snaps and something finally you finally figure it out um, what you got to do. I really hope that what I said today um, was uh, it, it was helpful to you guys out there because um, I know how hard this shit can be. I mean, I just I just know. Am I going the right way or? I think I'm going the right way. Let me let me turn here. Yeah, uh, yeah I still got a little while to go. But anyways, so yeah, guys. You know, at the end of the day. You guys have all the power. You guys, uh, you know, it's up to you whether you make that change or not. And um, most of you guys already know exactly what you need to do. You just gotta do it. And stop uh, spending time, stop wasting time um, trying to figure it out, you know? Um, because even if, and I mean, you know what I'm saying, we're trying to figure out what it is you need to do. You know, again, you guys already know what you need to do. It's all about just doing it. Um, even if you're figuring it out, like I was figuring it out for a long time, that's part of the process. That's you doing it. So even if um, you just spend time trying to figure out what it is that you want to do, what your dream is, what you know, what, what it is that is gonna get you to 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 that life that you want to live, then just just start just start figuring it out. Just start doing it, man. Just stop stop wasting that time, guys. Trust me, time is precious. And uh, once you figure out what you want to do with your life, once you're doing what you want to do with your life, once you're living that dream life. You know, then that's when all of a sudden you start realizing all the time that you wasted, everything that, you know, um, just everything. You know what I mean? All the time that you wasted, all the, you know, how time, how precious time is, how how finite all this stuff is, and that, you know, it, it's you stop wasting it. You know, just start doing it and stop wasting time. Speaking of which, all right, I'm gonna see if I can end it here, right? Because I'm, I don't know where I am, and I think I might be a little lost. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell like button. And um, don't forget to stay awesome. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing uh, rest of your 
Monday and week. All right, sorry, I'm uh, losing track of what I'm doing and saying here. All right, love you guys, peace out, and I'll see you guys manana. Got a special episode coming up, promise. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here, we haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I wanna tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special requests on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.